guys welcome back to the channel so today all I've got for you is another tuning video unfortunately I say unfortunately because uh, judging by the views there's not a whole lot of interest but uh, we really don't have a lot going on right now we've got no parts to install or test and uh, our budgets are pretty well used up so really okay we're just gonna see where she's at right now for air fuel ratio okay guys here's uh, the data log of that run uh, if you watch the AFR it's uh, it's not bad in this gear at least okay we just switched gears now we're also getting some spark retard but here's what I don't understand we just went into second gear and now it's richer than it than it was before so I don't know what to really do here it's getting like it's really rich right there I went and looked at everything and I can't see whether where where it's adding fuel what I mean is like uh, like catalyst over temp that's been shut off that's been disabled so I'm not sure why it's doing that but what I'm gonna do is I made some revisions to the tune I'm gonna flash it in the car take it out and see what happens and uh, if it works out I'll show you the what changes I made okay guys I'm gonna show you some of the changes I made for uh, running the 060 test Okay, so we'll go under engine here. We'll start with the timing. Okay, this here is my new timing table. I pulled out a fair amount of timing. And here's the previous one. And when I hit this, I'll show you the differences. So I took out a lot of timing down here. I think that's what was causing the spark retard. And then I took out, uh, even up top here, I took out some time. And this is, right in this area is where the full throttle is, full throttle timing would be. So you can see I took out 3 degrees here and 2 degrees here. So basically I went from uh, 27 degrees total timing and I dropped down to 25. But where I dropped a lot of timing is right through the lower rpm because that's where i was getting the spark retired and doing this actually did help although i i did still get a little bit of spark retired i think that's got more to do with the gas that's available right now i think we're in the we've got the winter gas okay so i changed the timing and then on the fuel end of it i uh i brought the fuel enrichment in a little bit earlier now stock this is set to 5500 and I had it set to 4000 but I dropped it down to 3500 just to bring it in a little bit quicker and then uh, the actual uh, enrichment I okay this here's the previous enrichment it was a uh, 18% extra fuel when it goes into power enrichment mode and I took off half a percent now I think I'm gonna put it back just because it was getting a little leaner than I'd like it was still safe but I, I just like to have a little extra safety in there and then on the transmission end of it we're the biggest thing we're having transmission issues it doesn't want to upshift now I changed the uh, the shift timing I dropped it 6150 whereas before it was 6200 but it's still it's still going up over 6400 sometimes it's going as high as 6500 which is where it hits a rev limiter it's not really a rev limiter I guess it's the fuel cutoff but anyway it's hitting the fuel cutoff and uh, so I don't know what's going on if the the shift solenoids aren't 
are getting weak or what well, I, I don't really know how transmission works anyway so i shouldn't even be saying anything but anyway we are having issues with the the upshift okay something i should have mentioned is well one you guys probably know i'm not an experienced tuner so when it comes to this timing table this is the one that i used before and what i did is early on when i started tuning the car i went on hp tuners and they have uh tunes by other people on there and what i did i copied one of the tunes and that's how i come up with the timing table i didn't pay much attention down here this is this timing's too aggressive down here and i think this is more timing than i need but anyway the reason i ran this is because like i said i just copied it from another tune that was the car was similar to mine but this here is where uh a dyno really comes in handy and uh, and an experienced tuner uh, your your timing for your torque peak is from what I understand usually different than the timing from your horsepower peak and uh, so if you get a chance to, to get a dyno tuned by an experienced tuner you'll definitely get more more power now this timing table I've come up with, this is probably not the optimum timing, but I've already run it and it runs, it actually ran faster than, than it previously did, even though it's got less timing. And uh, if I had an experienced tuner and a dyno, they could probably uh, lower that number a little bit more. But like I, I'm, I'm learning and uh, fires running quarter mile times to figure out the best timing that's not really working because I've had this as high as 28 and the quarter mile times never really changed. The reason I went with less timing is because I'm getting a little spark retired and what I found is even when I would get a fair amount of spark retired the car would run just as fast so that tells me that it, less timing if i can get there with less timing there's no sense in running 28 degrees when it's not running any faster anyway that's uh that's why a, a dyno tune by an experienced tuner is is the way to go if you can afford it okay guys so this here's a data log of the fastest zero to 60 this car has ever run uh i was actually tempted to run it out uh running the whole quarter mile but uh where I'm running is not a good spot. It uh, kind of starts out downhill just a tiny bit, and then it goes uphill just a tiny bit. But it's a good spot because there's there's no one around, so there's no and the traffic's fairly low. So that's why I chose that spot. It's fairly smooth too. So the numbers aren't a hundred percent accurate, but they're real handy because I've I've compared the numbers here to where we actually do the quarter miles, and uh, they're pretty much spot on but if i would have run this out quarter mile i'm real confident it would have run a, a 12 3. but anyway we'll hit the play button here okay i think this is where i just start to load up the converter and you'll see the stock converter is really tight on this a converter will really help this car out mind you i don't know how the traction is going to react because uh, we did spin a little bit because of the cooler temperatures but, uh, yeah, you can only bring the stock converter up to about 12, 1300 on the, on the brake. Now here's where I stab the throttle. Okay, fuel enrichment starts coming in. You'll see it's not too bad. I'm shooting for a 12.8. You'll never get it, uh, 12.8 clear across the board. Uh, this car actually needs, uh, some fuel system upgrades. See, we're getting a little bit of spark retired here not a lot but uh yeah it goes up too far it's supposed to shift a lot sooner than that i gotta figure out the transmission and when you go in second gear you notice how it's getting a little richer but then it then it leans out some i got the fuel right about where i want it uh anyway i know these videos aren't that popular but uh there's people out there a lot smarter than me that if they watch this video, they'll, they'll, they, they may have been thinking about tuning, but, uh, they're scared to give it a try. 
And if they see an idiot like me that's not doing too bad on the tuning, I've still got a lot to learn, but it could be enough to get them to to start tuning on their own. Anyway, guys, uh, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one.